Well, the Halloween weather has finally hit. And look, I was just finishing recording the time trial video for this week. That will be up a little bit later. I'm going to get this video out first. Uh, just as I finished my regular time trial, the uh, Halloween weather kicked in. Which means that, of course, the UFOs now spawn at 7.30. You can see it's just gone 8 o'clock on my phone. The UFOs spawn in at 7.30 now. And I've missed... Where is it? There it is up there. So... Now, of course, the abductions are in the game as well, so we're going to try and get abducted and hopefully we can spawn in to this secret underground base at Fort Zancudo where we can hopefully pick up the uh, the new melee, melee weapon which is called the uh, Shocker. Now, where are we? There's the beam there, so I just need to come under this beam of light and hopefully I can get abducted. Now, where is it? There it is there. So come over this way more. There we go. Make sure you are not registered as a CEO or an MC club president either. Because it's if you are, you're not going to spawn into this base. It is a 50% chance. So let's see, are we going to get it first go? No, we did not. But we have spawned in wearing the uh, Believe boxes. Where have I spawned, by the way? All the way up the top here. This is great. So I need to get back down to the city pretty quickly. Okay, so I'm up here now at the uh, Vinewood sign, trying to get abducted for a second time. Again, I'm not registered as a CEO or an MC Club president, so hopefully this time we will spawn inside this uh, secret base. And it looks like we haven't yet again. So here we go, attempting to get abducted again. And hopefully this time, now it's a 50% chance. So what are the chances that three times in a row I'm not going to get in this bunker? Pretty good apparently. Pretty good apparently. Righto. Okay, so we're back up at the Vinewood sign again. Hopefully we get abducted this time and popped into the... Now where is it? There it is, under the D. There we go. Now hopefully this time it puts us in the bunker. This is the fourth time we've tried this now. 50% chance you're going to get put in the bunker, right? Come on, game. Seriously. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with this? Okay, this is my fifth attempt at getting abducted to spawn inside this base. So if I don't get in this time, there's something I'm doing wrong because there's a 50% chance. Statistics say I should get in the base this time. I don't hear the weather anymore. I'm in. I'm in finally. Yes. Okay, so first off, you're going to be in first person view like this. Once you get up, press X to get up, you're going to uh, pop out of first person view. And the first thing you want to do is look in this room. There's going to be a couple of tables. So we've got one over here, and we've got it first up. There's a crowbar here, so you want to grab this. If it's not on that table, it's going to be over on this table here. Okay, next we need to leave this room. And we need to take note of this symbol here. And how many symbols are in here. One, two, so the TVs, there's two symbols here. So when we get to the end, this one has got the lever with this symbol on it is going to be the second one we pull. Okay, in here, looking at this symbol, and we want to spot the TVs in there, or no, is it just, oh, it's that there on the desk. That there on the desk there, so there's one in here. So this is the lever we want to pull first, if I've got this correct. This lever, this, this uh, symbol here means that lever wants to get pulled first. So look at this one here. 
come into this room, and this crate here is where we're going to find this weapon. So press right on your D-pad, and we've got one symbol there while we're doing this. One symbol there. One symbol there. So this symbol is going to be number three. Is that a cat? There's a cat sleeping on that box. So I can see there are three of these symbols here. So this symbol is going to be the third lever that we pull once we leave. And then finally this one here, you can see the star type symbol. And there should be four in there. One, two, three. Is that a fourth one over there? It is four. Okay, so... Got to remember this, so... One... Two, three, four. Now we've got ten minutes to get this done. Okay. So once again, looking at that, it was one, two, three, four, was it? I'm just going to double check that again. The star type one was four, yes. The, uh... The four circles. That one was one. And that... We'll call that an Earth-like symbol, I guess. Maybe we'll call that one a Captain Planet symbol. It's a little, it looks a little bit like Captain Planet's logo, doesn't it? So that was two, that was three. So, okay, so let's go down here now. If we pull these levers in the correct order, we will escape. We will get this new melee weapon. So this was one, so press right on your D-pad. When the green light comes on, you know you've got it correct. This is two. Green light comes on, you know you've got it correct. Now if you pull these in the wrong order, this one was number three. If you pull these in the wrong order, the room's going to fill up with gas, you're going to pass out, and you're going to respawn, you're not going to get anything. And this one here is number four. There we go, and now we can escape. Press right on your D-pad after you come into the lift. We're going to spawn outside, and let me just come over here. I open up my weapons wheel, come down to melee weapons. There is the shocker. And I like to like this weapon to, um... I like the... I can't remember what it's called, but in Demolition Man. The, the baton thing that, that, that uh... What's his name again? <laughs> um, Sylvester Stallone. He whacks the people with this, doesn't he? Or just, he not actually wax them, he just, just hold up to their head and press the button, didn't he? But it's probably not like that, it. it's probably something different. It's probably another movie, something like this is in that I'm missing, but this is the one that, that reminds me of that one. Okay, now I've just spawned back down into the city. I've got the shocker weapon out. I just want to find us an NPC to whack. We can see a whack with it. And it kind of stuns them in the same way the stun gun does. And you can see the bar in the top right hand corner because there is a cooldown just like the stun gun. So you can see I can't... Oh, there we go. It's charged again. And what'd you kick him for? I didn't want to kick him. And what's that going to do? You, you killed him with a kick. And you can see there's no light on the, on the um, shocker while it's in a cooldown as well. So once it goes full again, it lights up, and then you're free to use it again. But here's, I want to find someone else. Here we go. So stun him, and I was going to say, can I? I can. I can hit him again, but it's not going to stun. I just want to find um, a couple of people here. You can hear that throbbing noise it's making too. Anyway, look, we're going to leave it there, I think. We're going to leave it there. So, look, you've got a little bit longer now for the UFOs, and I'm just going to call Lester before the cops come and start shooting at me while I'm trying to talk to you. Let's just get rid of this. One at a level. Yes, yeah, so you have got longer now. The UFOs are going to spawn in at 7.30 or 1930 on your phone, and they're going to be stick around until 6 a.m., 6 6.30 a.m., sorry. So, 0630 hours on your phone. Just a little bit longer, get abducted, look it took me five goes, uh, they reckon there's a 50% chance, but one in five, that's not 50%, that's 
Anyway, look, that's going to do it for this video. If you found this useful, if you're able to get the shocker, if you got the shocker before seeing this video, let me know. Uh, if this helped you out, let me know. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. If you want to see more GTA content, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.